welcome back to JC Motor Garage. So we got the engine, we got some work done on that. Start doing some body work. We're gonna get ready and uh, put the exhaust in while we wait for the oil pan and some other stuff that we need for the engine. Um, so we're gonna clean off the valve cover, paint the valve cover. So let's check it out. Let's get this exhaust and stuff. Go get it. All right, so here's the B18 C1. So we got the power steering brackets on there on there we got the timing belt on there crank alternator look at that we're gonna do a test fit on this exhaust real quick this is megan exhaust header look at that that looks nice it's gonna be nice all right yep so we got all that we got an oil filter today and some oil so we got some break-in oil stuff like that we got the knock sensor right here. We got that put in. Oil pressure uh, sensor. Got that done. So that's all good to go. So we need to do a valve adjustment. After we uh, get everything else on here, After we, before we put in the car, we'll do a valve adjustment here. So we'll do from number one cylinder, number two, number three, number four. So we'll do all that. So check out that. Oh, buddy. It's going to look nice. Oh, we got the radiator in here, so we need to cut them down just a little bit. These bushings right down there, if you can see the bushings right there, we need to cut those down a little bit because it's sitting just a little too high. It needs to come down just a little bit. This does stick out of it on the normal, um, on the normal, uh, the radiator, so it just needs to come down just a little bit and it'll be good. We need to bend these out just a little bit here so these can sit flush. We got the other one in here and here's the other bolt. So we need to clean these bolts off. So we got the oil filter, the fuel filter on. We got that on. Everything's ready. Everything's good to go. The new slave cylinder over there. So there's the transmission. So we got the throw bearing off there. So I got some grease. We're going to throw out the throw bearing. We're going to put that on there. So that'll be ready to go. And then when we pull this off of here, we'll put the, um, we'll put it on the engine hoist. We'll jack it up, put on the engine hoist, take it off of here, and then we'll do the rear main seal, and we'll do the clutch and the flywheel and all that. We'll get that all ready to go, and then we'll bolt this up together. But in here, we got the, um, there's the muffler. So right here is the test pipe that we got for the cat. So this is going to bolt up to the header right here. So we got a, we got a bung on the other one in this box right here. So we gotta get this one off of here because it has an O2 sensor um, delete. And this one right here, let's see where it's at. Yeah, right there. So we're gonna take that one off of there because we need an O2 sensor in that one. But that's gotta go, that's gotta go right there. Yeah. So that's got to go right there. So this little bung right there has got to go in there to seal that up. And this is your uh, upstream. And then this one will be your downstream. So we got all that together. So we need to start getting this bolted up together. We got a, uh, there's one piece there for the muffler. And then back here in the hatch. This open here. We got the other, uh, the other pieces here. So this one right here. There's my brother's truck. I need to get that running soon too. We've been focusing on uh, focusing on the Integra and then the engine back and stuff right now. So All right, let's get this out of here. We need to test the um, fuel pump too. The fuel pump needs to be uh, needs to be uh, fixed. I don't know if it's power or what, but we're gonna do that. So we got this and we got this. We're gonna get it bolted up. And we're gonna test fit it before we put it on the car and get the get the exhaust on there. So we got new hangers um, in one of these boxes here. We got new uh, new exhaust hangers. We got five of them, so we got all new ones. So that's all done. Check out this interior real quick. Yeah, so we got a bunch of bunch of wiring here from a what was it? A alarm system. Mm -hmm. Yeah alarm system back from uh 20 years ago from the 2000s and auto page so yeah it's it's a mess so i gotta cut all that out of there 
figure out if they spliced into the um, power the fuel pump. I don't know. We're having an issue with that, but got the interior cleaned up. Got the new shifter on there, the new panel there. So we're gonna clean everything up. I gotta spray paint these still black, and then I gotta get this in. I was having trouble trying to get the little screw and this little thing for the sunroof. So yeah, that came apart, but we'll fix that. That's pretty much it. And then we just gotta find some screws for these. We got a bunch of screws to fit those in there. But it's coming along. Got the body work started here. And I started cutting out the little uh, rivets that the guy put in here to rivet the side, uh, the side skirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, side skirts. So we had a rivet there, there was a rivet there, and there was a rivet there. So I cut those off of there. So now I just gotta take a grinding wheel, grind these down just a little bit, and then we'll take our welder. We got some aluminum uh, welding stuff. I think it's right over here. Yeah, it's right here. So this is for uh make welder for aluminum. So we can uh, weld those in and then we'll uh, do that. And then we got the little welder. It's right here. We got the welder right there. So we'll get that done. All right. Well, let's get this. Uh, let's get this test uh, test pipe and everything all uh, together and see what's going to look like before we put it on the car and make sure that it's good to go. So we'll be right back and we'll. All right. So starting to put this together here. So there's your uh, test pipe for the cat. And then there's the one bung right there. So we gotta get that out of there and put it over here. We put the little donut gasket in here and it comes with the springs right here. So we can take the springs out and we can put those in there. But we're not gonna do that yet because we don't have the engine up there. We just wanna get it mocked up enough to get it off of here. So we'll see if we can get this, uh, get this out of here. So we gotta plug up this one right here because you don't want one right there and you don't want one right there so we'll go ahead and do that real quick we'll get our o2 sensors in there get them ready to go you want to plug up yeah plug up that one right there should fit in there we'll put some uh i think we should put some uh stuff on there and, uh, some seal i think that's fine we'll get that tightened down there we go okay that should be good to go. Get the socket off of there. Let's uh, turn on the light real quick so you can actually see. Oh, we got some light. Look at that. All right now. Okay, so we got this part done. So we can put this. Okay, and then that's the two, uh, that's the donut exhaust donut for this. So that's where the 102 sensor will go right there. So that is your uh, upstream. And then your downstream is the one that goes in the the cat. So Corey's gonna get the new uh, O2 sensors that we got that we ordered. Here's all the here's all the things. We need five of these. We need to find the other one. I know I or I, I got four, and then the other one. Um, remember, I got I got the other one from O'Reilly's the other day. Okay, so then this will bolt up. Two here. You can see three bolts right here. And that. Did you get a new, uh, we got a new one, didn't we? Oh, this one's actually good. Look it, it's got the ring in the middle. Look it. This one should be good. It's got the ring in the middle and it actually looks good. So we'll just go ahead and use this one here. Here's the upstream. This one's the upstream? All right. So this is the upstream O2 sensor. Let's get the plug. So we'll do this one. So the upstream one is the one that goes on the cat. Or the, I um, mean, in, in the header. So we'll put that one in this one. And then we need the downstream for, for the upstream. This is the upstream? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so this one goes on there, right? All right, so we got the exhaust installed. There's the muffler, and then I'll show you down here. We got new, uh, new exhaust hangers, brand new exhaust hangers, right up there. So we got a new one for that. So it's going over the um, 
over the suspension there and then down that way we didn't tighten those ones up yet they were kind of hard to get because it's kind of sitting down a little bit so once we get the engine in there and the the header and everything like that it'll pull that up and then we'll be able to uh tighten that up because i don't want to tighten it up and it'd be wrong and then crush the um the gasket on that because we want a good seal so that's the new exhaust installed on the integra look at that exhaust look at that muffler it's gonna sound so good with this and look it it doesn't even rattle it doesn't even rattle like my rsx did you imagine that look at that and guess what it's hollow basically a straight back straight back uh straight pipe exhaust huh right up here i just got it uh setting up with a bungee cord right now so we can get it uh move this panel out of the way here yeah see so i got that installed like that and then we got uh this part right here we got that sealed so we're gonna take this off of here and i'm gonna put some uh, red rtv gasket maker on there so we can seal that up make sure it's sealed and make sure it doesn't leak and then we got a new donut for the um for the other uh for right there so we can put the when we put the exhaust on the new engine um we got to get ready and do the trans the throw out bearing here we got to do that so i found some grease for that so we got this installed so now the exhaust is out of the car so that's another thing that we need to get done is we need to do this so right in here is the new uh throw out bearing should be in this box right here we got a box of parts and we listed everything we marked everything down so what's in the box so we're marking it off as we're taking it out of there so this is the new one right here and then i got some grease in here we're gonna grease it up i found some grease should be in the little uh little can here somewhere um yeah right here so Right here super lithium molly grease so we're going to use some of that so we can grease up the shaft on the transmission here right here so we'll grease this up real good i cleaned it up last night real good i cleaned up the fork i cleaned up that so it'll move in and out now so that'll be good and we just need to grease this up with some uh with some grease here so i'm gonna get ready and uh, i'm gonna grease that up and then i'll be back and then we'll install this and uh, all right so we got the exhaust on the car we got the throw up bearing right here we got that replaced right there so you can see that the fork moves really good moves in and out you got that greased we got the front motor mount for the um our trans mount for that we got that bolted up we found the bolts for that so we got that bolted up there i got those um cleaned up got the valve cover all stripped and painted boy look at that looks nice and we finally got an oil pan that fits so we're gonna get ready and put the oil pan on here so this is the felpro um oil pan gasket Corey's gonna take that out of there while the bolts over there are in there they're soaking because they were oily so we got that i got this all cleaned up right here for the pcv valve so we got that all cleaned up. We need to get a new hose right here. So we need to get a new hose for it. So Corey's getting ready to set this on here and see if it fits. Oh, we're in business. Look at that. That's gonna look so nice. Got a new oil pan, new alternator, new motor mounts, everything. So. We were gonna put a racing um, crank uh, harmonic balancer on here, but the guy that rebuilt the engine said, don't use it, said to use this one. I know it's cracked right here, but he said it'll be fine as long as we deburr it. And we're only using these two belts right here and right here. We're not using the one for the AC. So we're using the one for the alternator and the power steering. So we got the power steering bracket on there, right there. And we got the other one right there. So I cleaned up this bolt. So we're going to get ready and uh, clean this off. We're going to spray these bolts out right here, right there. So those are all soaked in oil and coolant and whatever else. So we're going to get ready and uh, spray those off real quick. And then we'll be back 
and we'll get this uh we'll get this bolted up so all right so we got the oil pan on um we got a couple more bolts to find for that but we're gonna get it off here because it's uh, actually standing up a little bit and we're afraid it's gonna fall so we're gonna get this on here real quick we got the engine hoist out we got the load leveler out we got all that good to go so we're gonna end up uh just pulling this off of here so then we can bolt up the transmission there we got to get the rear main seal in there and we can't get to it we got to tighten up these bolts these are just hand tight so we got to tighten up those bolts torque those down and then we got to get the flywheel the clutch and all that kind of stuff before we bolt up the transmission but we can't do it when it's on the hoist so we got pretty much everything done we got it uh, adjusted so we got 0 0.17 on the intake side and then 0 0.19 on the exhaust side so we did it from number one cylinder and we went down and we got the feeler gauge in there so we did the valve adjustment everything should be yeah everything should be tightened up so we got see we got a little bit of loosage there so that's good and there so and we did that and we got the we got the cams adjusted so i had to loosen it a little bit so we got the cams adjusted so it's number one cylinder right there and right there so they're both straight and straight up so that's good and that's in number one cylinder so we're in top dead center all right so we got a lot done to the integra so it's getting ready to go on the hoist we got the oil pan on we got the valve adjustment on we got all the cams good and everything like that so we're getting ready to put it on the hoist and put the transmission mounts and everything on there put the flywheel on and everything's going to be next we'll get that on the next video we'll get the flywheel on the clutch the clutch plate all that kind of stuff and uh we'll push the um rear, rear uh rear main seal we got the rear main seal when you push that on there torque up the bolts to the rear main seal cover got to get that done so that'll be in the next video so check us out check out our playlist on the 2000 integra gsr so when we first found it and what it looks like now it was so bad there was so much oil all over the place so check that out and see what it looks like now if you like this video please give us a big thumbs up you can follow us on facebook and instagram at jc motive garage and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on jc motive garage